it's unsettling. I'm unsettled when I watch it in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a good way. In a good way, yes, because you don't quite know what's You know that way sometimes, do you ever watch something and you almost kind of back off a little bit because you just, ooh. Yeah, it's genuinely <laughs> creepy, I think. It's really I mean, but creepy. On, but on lots of levels. Mm. I think yeah. it works in a sort of classic horror way, but also in a psychological way. It's very, um, and it feels very original. Although she's, I think, and the writer, Chris Merska, and Mahalia Bello, the director, have made references to, you know, classics from the yeah, 70s, yeah. Uh, classic horror films. I think it's got a, a very original feel to it. Mm. Yeah, and I think our writers, Chris and, and Blake Asher, in, in episode five, are very clear about our intention to scare yeah. and yeah. spook and disturb Absolutely. the audience, but not in any kind of slasher horror way. No, not at all. It's what you don't see. That's mm. the thing. It's the things that you don't see that actually are the most unsettling. Yeah, and yeah. at the heart of it is, is a young woman who's suffered the trauma of her mother's suicide, and that's thrown her whole identity into crisis. Who is she? Um, is she this stolen child, this missing child, you know, this case that she comes across? And it's very, it's, uh, kind of, it's very heartbreaking, it's very moving. Mm. Yeah. But I do like the fact that we've now got that choice. Yeah, we can yeah. choose well, yeah. how we watch things yeah. now. I like it too. I watched it all over a weekend on iPlayer. It launches on Netflix, I think, in about two weeks. It does it? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know. Did you think, were you scared? <laughs> I, really, I really yeah. was. Yeah, I really I was. was. Yeah. Cannot guess where it's going to go. No, I've just no idea. Where well, it's that going was the go. great thing about reading it. I mean, up, yeah. up, right up until the end, episode six was held back, and we, we yeah. just didn't know, and um, it was very shocking. God, I think it'll do amazingly well in, in the in. Obviously, it's done really well here, but in America and the yeah, rest of the yeah. world, do you not think the Yanks will just absolutely? Love I hope it? so. I hope so. They yes. will. They do. And they're very winning. The two, you know, Lydia. And, yeah. and, and Joel. And yeah. Joel, I think they're yeah. a very winning combination, very contemporary com combination. Yeah, because things have been done before about children that have been stolen or they've been abducted. Yeah. This is such a different take. It's like yeah. it feels very new, as yeah, you were yeah, saying. It yeah. feels very well, new. Well, it's brought to us by the team who, who made The Missing, you know, new pictures. Oh, gosh, so, that was incredible. And a missing child has been at the heart of their dramas before. Yes. But this yeah. is a, a, a it's very, so different. This it's a very so, different so very departure different. with this. And of course, you two have been in massive things that have been huge in America as well. So I think you were in that wee thing, Downton, that was quite. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> do you remember? I do remember that. <laughs> it was a rag and, of course, Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, goodness yeah. me. Oh, look. There's me. I love Mr. Bates. He was fantastic. He Wasn't really he a was. great guy? He was just the kind of guy you would have liked in your corner. Yeah. He was a good man. Unless he killed you. We're this still was not true, sure about that. But, but he never did, though. No, he didn't. Or did he? We don't know. <laughs> Do you think that movie's ever going to happen, Brendan? Because everybody keeps talking about it and I want it to happen. Yeah, because it's is there anything all I can down do? to me. <laughs> is there um, anything I can do to make it happen? Um, I, I don't know. I'm just not the one to ask. I, mean, I know. It's really difficult. Who knows? Actors because, know last. Yes. That's, that is a universal so truth. They all get it all together and it does. And Absolutely. Game of Thrones, that must have been amazing to be in that because that's it was. huge. Yeah, it's like it's a juggernaut, isn't yeah. it? And, and unstoppable and sort of redefines what TV is capable of and, For sure. and where it might go and to whom it might appeal. And it's true, because watching both of those series, it was like watching a movie every week. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just like watching a film. Yeah, yeah the production you know? values now are just, just Absolutely. astonishing. Absolutely brilliant writing. Mm. They both mm -hmm. share that, don't Do you know, they? I always say that. Sometimes you watch a film, you think everything is good about this, apparently forgot the script. Yeah. And how are you guys supposed to do your jobs if yeah. you don't have the right... Too. We've got well, to start with that. Really, with Requiem, that's a, a classic rule of thumb. Great yeah, scripts, that's why we... It's yeah, yeah. So it settles. It's so, so big. Mm. We're going to see you and Mary Queen of Scots, I believe. Yes. Ah, oh, I'm looking forward to that. The that's movie. going to be a, the movie, the big, big film. Yeah, that, that's happened straight after Requiem, starring um, Saoirse Ronan... Yes, ..as the course. eponymous mm. queen, and Margot Robbie as Elizabeth oh. I, and oh. directed by Josie Rourke. So we had this... this trinity of amazing women telling this amazing story so uh, it should be good <laughs> oh, i look forward to that and isn't it isn't it great that we're seeing more and more female directors now you know we're looking ahead to the oscars and things are and things have changed in hollywood which means things will change everywhere there'll be a ripple effect yeah, 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 yeah. it can't go back, back no, no. What it was. It please can't. god no no it can't it yeah. definitely can't it must be so good guys thank you for coming in thank, thank you so much thank you for my present for angus <laughs> That's my pleasure. Angus got a present and it was so good he gets more presents than me <laughs> which is absolutely fine. Requiem tonight, 9 o'clock, or you can download it, obviously, on the iPlayer if you can't wait. Yeah. If you can't wait. Thank you so Thanks much. Thank you. Thank you.